But the man was fine. Okay, he was fine. He was very easy to look at. Nice looking man. And he just seemed to be the total package. Like he had everything. He loved God. And God basically told me, this person is not for you. Hey hey everyone, Organic Keys here. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. What tickles my fancy today? I am gonna go ahead and do a story time video. In my last video, I asked you guys if you wanted to hear a story time about a time where God told me somebody in particular was not for me. And somebody said that they didn't want to see it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this video. All right, so this was about four years ago. No shade to anybody involved in the story. I'm not gonna be dropping names because I'm not here to bash nobody or put nobody's dirty laundry out here. <laughs> and I have no hard feelings towards anybody in this story at all. This is not to bash anybody or anything. This is just to get a point across, just to tell a story, and that is it. No shade. Like I said, this was about four years ago. And at that time, I was getting off a really toxic situationship with a guy. Let's call him Joe. And we were just, it just, ended about a year it wasn't even a year about six months no not even six months about three ish months before I started talking to this guy I was not looking for any kind of guy to come up in my space because at that time I was really just trying to heal I had been broken and I was just trying to heal so I was not really looking for a relationship at all so a woman that knows me was like, hey, I got a guy for you. So I was just kind of like, listen, I'm not really in that space right now. But she was just like, no, he's a really great guy. He's a Christian. He's, you know, loves God. He's attractive. So I'm just like, listen, I'm not about that life. But if he wants to add me on Facebook, that's cool. So anyway, she talked to him about me as well. And then he ended up adding me on Facebook. Now, like I said, I'm not going to use any names. So we're going to call him Todd. Todd and I became friends on Facebook and we started talking. Now, I knew Todd before that moment, but I didn't know him, know him like that. Like, I had seen him in passing and I'd see him on our mutual friends' social media accounts, but I never was friends with him. I never really knew him like that. And Todd and I, we do not live in the same area, but I go to his area a lot. So seeing him wouldn't be really an issue. Started following each other on other social media sites like Instagram and stuff like that. And so we would like each other's pictures and comment on each other's pictures. We did that whole thing back and forth or whatever for a while. Then I went to his area for a church function and he was at that church function too. So I saw him at the church function, but I didn't say anything to him because we were just kind of cool on social media, but we never really spoke in person. So it was just kind of awkward for me just to walk up to you and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So I just didn't say anything, but he ended up stopping me after one of the services and we talked for like a three second. And that was like the first time we ever spoke to each other in person. He was really cool people's like I said, in the church, very down to earth, very easy to talk to guy. And not to mention, he was fine. Like, the man was very attractive. And like I said, I can say that now. And not, like, even if you were to see this video and see that I'm saying that he was fine, he was very attractive. Till this day, he's still fine. But at the end of the day, one, I know you're not for me. Two, it don't matter what you look like on the outside. If your inside ain't correct, your outside don't mean nothing to me. So, I mean, I'm not saying that he's the same person that he was then. I'm just saying in general. But the man was fine. Okay, he was fine. He was very easy to look at. Nice looking man. And he just seemed to be the total package. Like he had everything. He loved God. He was a Christian. He was in the church. He was fine. He was very articulate, very well spoken. Like just, just all around great guy. Right? Cool. So then I ended up going home and like a month, maybe a month or so after, he sent me something on Facebook through the messenger and I was, I thought it was spam. So I was like, is this spam? And he was like, nah, I wanted you to listen to this song or something like that. So then I listened to the song and then after that, that's what kind of got us talking to each other back and forth. Now we spoke maybe for a month back and forth and it was just friendship. Like we never talked about anything crazy or anything like that. It was really just a legitimate friendship. And we would talk back and forth. But every time I would talk to this dude, y'all, I would be so convicted. Like, I just felt like I shouldn't be talking to him. Like, every time he would send me a message, I would send him a message. And we were talking, like, from that day that he sent me that thing on Facebook, we spoke every single day. Every time we would have a conversation, I would feel so guilty. I would feel so bad. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. And at that point, once I started feeling, you know, super guilty about it, I'm like, okay, 
obviously I need to pray about this and figure out why God is convicting me about it. But at that point, he was so cool. I didn't really want to stop talking to him. I'm just like, I know if I pray about it, God may tell me something I don't want to hear. And I don't really, I don't So I'm not going to pray about it. And so when I would pray, I would pray for two minutes, sidestepping all my convictions so that I didn't have to be forced to pray and seek God on it because I was just afraid that God would tell me something I didn't want to hear at the time. Like I said, I was coming off a bad relationship. So having a male person to talk to, it was just nice. You know, all of that nice feelings that come with that. It was nothing deep. It was just really nice. And I didn't want to let that go, if that makes sense. But God was just like, yeah, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, I need to talk to you about him. So then one day I was like, all right, God, I'm not going to let this man come between you and I. I prayed one day and I was like, all right, God, what's going on? What's up? Let me know. And God basically told me, this person is not for you. He told me clean, plain and simple. So then I was like, okay, God, this is what you've spoken. I accept it. I receive it. You are the most important person in my life, God. If this is what you're saying, I receive it. I accept it wholeheartedly. And I did. That same day, I ended up talking to my brothers. And I was talking to them about him. And I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, we had started talking back and forth. And we're just, you know, friends and kind of getting to know each other, whatever. But God told me today that he's not for me. So I'm just not going to talk to him like that anymore. And then my brother was like, well, I'm glad you told me that. I didn't know you were talking to him because he's actually dating somebody else. The reason why I was so convicted and the reason why God was trying to get me to open my eyes, my spiritual eyes, and just to trust him and be obedient is because he was actually seeing somebody while he was getting to know me. Now, granted, I did not feel bad. Like, I wasn't hurt or anything when I found out because, like I said, we were not in a relationship. We were nothing close to a relationship. We were just friends. So I wasn't bothered. I was more bothered for the, for the girl that he was dating because it was just kind of like, if I was her, I wouldn't want him getting to know somebody like he was getting to know me because that means you're not serious about me but the thing is they and I knew the girl that he was dating um and I love that girl but they were keeping everything on the DL and personally that's why I'm not here for that I understand why people keep things on the DL because sometimes you don't want people in your sauce I get it but at the same time when you keep things on the DL for too long you cannot hold each other accountable because nobody knows about y'all if somebody sees your man out with another chick and they don't know that he's with you how are they gonna be able to stick up for you how are they gonna be able to be like hey you know your man was out with such and such the other day and are y'all together like I mean you have no one to do these checks and balances with because nobody knows y'all are together and so because I didn't know that they were together I thought this man was single and free but he wasn't so that's why I'm not here for the whole DL thing I not here for it. So I found that out and I was just like, whoa, okay, God, I understand now completely why you're telling me just to leave this guy alone. Fast forward a few months, we were still friends, but I, I, at that point I started to kind of like distance myself from him. When I went to his area, a lot of stuff happened in that trip, not between he and I, but him and other people. And I don't want to get into that because I'm not here to put other people's business out there or even talk on it because it's not my life. I only want to talk about where I come into play. So yeah, but in the midst of all of that, I was just like, you know, I don't think it's a good idea for us to talk every day. So then I ended up going to the church and we ended up having a conversation. He asked me like, why do you feel that way? And I told him basically, God told me that you are not it. And so I just started kind of distancing, distancing myself. And he was like, yeah, I noticed that you were distancing, distancing, distancing yourself. And I was curious as to why and I was like well yeah well that was why and he was like well why did you ever tell me and I'm like because we were just friends why am I gonna tell a friend that God told me that you're not gonna be mine like I felt like that was bad extra anyways to make a very long story short at that time I thought that he wasn't still dating that girl come to find out that he was still dating her which is cool but then he ended up being unfaithful to her in their relationship without her knowing that just went to go further to show this man was not going to be no good to you because the same way he did that to her he would have easily easily done that to me easily I would have got played and God saved me from that and that's why it's so important to me to see God when it comes to relationships and being with people because God will literally let you know that this person is for you or this person isn't for you and that's why I don't really care for the whole phrase to ask a guy you know where are we or what's going on with us or what are we doing or anything like that I feel like you should know that within yourself between you and God unhinged on what he wants to do or not and I feel like a lot of times women hinge their relationship status on the guy 
for what? If this person is or is not supposed to be for you, should be something that you know between your own prayer closet, between you and God. God should let you know, hey, this person is somebody that you can be cool with. This person is not somebody you can be cool with. That was not somebody that God had for me. And I knew that without him, I didn't need him to let me know, oh, we can progress or not progress. Bruh, I'm not, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about God and what God wants. And that will save you from a lot of heartbreak, a lot of issues when you seek God first. If this person is like, I think we should move forward, and clearly God is telling you no, what are you moving forward for? I don't care how fine this man is. I don't care how great he seems on paper. It don't mean anything. Because this guy was great on paper and great in physical characteristics, but he was not a good guy for me. God is awesome, like I said, he's just so amazing and I'm just so glad that he saved me from that before I got caught up in something that would have been really bad for me. I think that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If this video was helpful to you, glory be to God. I praise God that it was able to touch you and to touch your heart because God is awesome and he will always get a word across when he needs to. And I'm glad if this was the word you needed to hear that you were able to hear it. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so that we can become family. And also, you can follow me on social media. All my handles will be down below in the video description box. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. I don't know if you know this, but beautiful things don't need attention.